Hey everyone, my name is Darius and you just enter my world that makes you insane now. So, today we are going to be doing top 15 scariest YouTube videos with links. And since this video is uh, 27 minutes long, we're going to be splitting this into a couple parts. So, let's not waste any time. This seems like some really, like some fucked up shit, but... Hey, YOLO, right? So, let's get started. We're gonna be starting in 3, 2, 1. Number 15, Obey the Walrus. This video obtained its fame a while back from the confusing and creepy vibe it radiates. It's a very old video, and the quality shows My that mega. it features very creepy and childish music that plays over footage of a transvestite wearing a pink dress and walking around in a distorted manner. Towards the end, we get a zoom in of the person's expressionless face before we are faced with a photo of a walrus. The there you go. originally surfaced with the same title in a Spanish language. People began creating reaction videos, which usually went one of two ways. Either they laughed uncontrollably, or they were frozen with fear. The video soon came with a myth that it was created by a Latin American... Well, I'm not frozen with fear, and I'm not laughing. ...aka the walrus, and it is said that bad things would happen after watching the video. Again, there has been I'll research my chance. into this video that found it was actually just footage used from the actor's life documentary titled The Goddess Bunny. The actor is named Johnny Baima, and he suffers from polio. He has spoken about going through a lot of sexual abuse as a child, and okay, you can just becoming back a off the camera now. Chances are that someone just took footage from what this film. What the fuck is that on your head? Or his head? Depending how you see it, and posted it for attention. As for the differing feelings that come alongside this video, it's actually very psychological. The color scheme that the video is set in, the tune of music, and the unknowingness of what is happening tampers with the way our brain processes things and leads to different people having different reactions. No matter the truth behind this video, the fear that it pulls out of some people is very, very real. Number 14. I feel fantastic. Is that a robot? Yet another viral. Someone's trying to build artificial intelligence. YouTube. This one is a blonde robot in the middle of what is probably a living room, singing a strange and high pitched song that includes the lyrics I feel fantastic. And to top off the creep factor, please leave. Run, run, run. The robot does change positions a few times, and towards the end, she's even in a new outfit. It should be mentioned that midway through the strange music video, there's a random shot of the backyard. The earliest upload of this was in 2009. Many people began saying that the robot was created by a serial killer as some form of statue bride. The shot to the backyard was allegedly a shot of where the killer buried his victims, and the things the robot sings are to reflect what the killer wishes his victims would have said while being murdered. This mostly came about because the description on the video tells about the story in Greek mythology of Pygmalion, a man who made a statue bride because he was so fed up with the impure women that surrounded him. However, the true story That's his fault. He doesn't even know how to get bitches. a lot less creepy. Well, it's still kind of weird. This was all actually a music project done by John Bergeron. Back in 2004, he built this android which he named Tara and programmed her to sing songs that he wrote and recorded. He continued to sell the videos online, so this probably came from someone who was crazy enough to make a purchase, as there has never been proof of him having a YouTube account. This was actually a brilliant idea that wound up being horribly executed. As for the strange cutscene to the backyard, it's still unexplained, but it was most likely just an attempt to add some cinematic beauty to the video. Although the page could not be found now, there has been proof that the music videos were sold back in the early days of the site. 
Considering there has been no activity from Bergeron since 2004, we can live out the rest of our lives safely knowing there will be no more Terra videos. Number 13. Agamemnon what the fuck is that? This video basically starts out Let's as confusing, make but a you new can't friend. stop watching. Even as you stare at the scream in horror and disbelief, you probably won't stop it. The video starts out with a crummy old school VHS warning, which is followed by on screen text that reads A video cassette was found in a pile of rubble on the ruins of a certain blue planet. What you are about to witness will not be the contents of the aforementioned cassette. This is an entirely different recording, which is shown next to what could be the intro to a very low budget children's show, as it features cartoon characters, bright colors, and displays the title, Let's Make a New Friend. However, not long into the video, screaming begins, like uncontrollable, someone is about to get murdered type screaming. My nigga. We see a few more trippy shots with tons more screaming and overly happy background music, and the video ends. Rumors immediately began spreading that I the think video I'm was on once footage from a popular Japanese rape murder case. Apparently, the cartoon footage covered up the video, but not the audio. Nigga. However, when you look at the description of the original posting, mm. it stated drawings by Jason Kovac, aka Dave, from 2001, D2K1. Research leads to DK21, meaning Destination Imagination 2001. From there, we can find that this video was a strange art project that got uploaded in 2006. Looking even deeper has exposed that the audio and screaming are both from vintage movies. So the rape murder theory is completely false. As for the title, or the meaning behind the video, there's not one. Jason Kovac has yet to release any information about its confusing title or complex meaning. Just take a look. Maybe you'll be able to find some deep and powerful meaning within these terrifying screams. I'm good. Number 12. Username 666. This popular video is based on an even more popular creepypasta. It's probably Pasta. been seen by many. It involves a YouTube channel by the name of Username666. The person controlling when YouTube the computer was good. finds that the account has <laughs> been suspended. Then they go on to refresh about 50 times. Things start to become redder and redder. And the, the majority of the text will become 666. One more refresh. What the, the fuck? With videos of twisting and disturbing babies, as well as a woman drowning. This video is obviously created solely for the creepypasta, and it's not real whatsoever. If you look up the channel, though, it does say it has been suspended. Nigga. This implies that the channel did exist at one point. Well, it could have been a demonic and truly freaky account. There's no proof for that. That aside, however, the thought is still terrifying. Plus, there are several softwares and programs that can be used to replicate this effect for scaring friends or, you know, whatever you would need that for. Take a look. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> cursed Kleenex commercial. The following ad for tissues is creepier than it needs to be. As you will see, there is a small child that seems to have their body painted a dark orange. The child is sporting green hair and some sort of magical horn. Meanwhile, the woman next to the child... Okay, so... Okay, so... We're gonna stop right here, but we are going to continue. So... I'll see you guys next time, and once you enter my world, you'll never be the same ever again. See you guys next time.